This is the real Tom Rose, and we are trying to figure out the area of this shaded region here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is have a plan for how we're going to figure out the shaded region. So they give us a circle. Um, it has a wedge taken out of it of known size. It's 60 degrees, right? And uh, there's a tr and then there's a triangle there. And it looks like so A and B are on that circle. And uh, so we're creating a triangle. A triangle. This is remember this is this triangle has sides that are the same length. So it's at least isosceles, and an isosceles triangle um, where that center angle is 60, you can figure out, you, you, you don't have to calculate this because you know that equilateral triangles measure 60, 60, 60. Um, but if you want, you could um, use the rule that all the sum of the angles must equal 180 to show that this is in fact an equilateral triangle. So we've got an equilateral triangle. They tell us the radius is 6. So we have an equilateral triangle with known side length. And we have a wedge of a circle with known uh, known angle. So we can calculate the area of both of those things. So I'm going to say calculate the, uh, what do they call these actually? It's the sector. The sector of the circle minus the triangle. Let's say the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle equals the area of the shaded region. So we just need to calculate both of these quantities and then we're done. So the area of first, the area of the sector. Now the area of the sector um, is proportional to its arc measure on this circle. So if we have 60 degrees out of 360 degrees, that'll tell you what proportion of the circle's area we have in the sector, right? But now we need to multiply that by the area of the circle. Um, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So this, and we know r is 6. So this is going to be equal to um, 1 sixth pi 6 squared, or 6 pi. So 6 pi is the area of that sector. And unsurprisingly, you can start to see um, the answer choice is going to start to form up how we imagined it, the sector minus the area of the triangle. So we're really just looking for the area of the triangle at this point, and it'll give us the right answer. So the area of the triangle now, um, I'm, going to I'm going to redraw the triangle bigger over here to make it easier to discuss. This is an equilateral triangle. So it has measures of 60, 60, and 60. And we want the area of it. Area is base times height. If you drop The way you find a height is you drop from the top vertex down to the base at a 90 degree angle, that measurement will be the height. If you do that in an equilateral triangle, you will create a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 30, 60, 90 triangles have known side ratios that you, can, that you should have memorized. So for example, 1, 2, root 3 is the ratio there. Um, we've been told that the side length is actually six. These are the, the in red. I just showed the ratios. You can figure out the uh, actual side length. Uh, I'll put those in blue. So actual side length is six, which is three times that ratio. So the base is uh, uh, one half of it is three, which means the other half is three. Of course, we knew that. And the uh, this will be the the height will be three times root three. Uh, uh, 3 times root 3. So base um, times, so let's see, the area of the triangle will be 1 half base times height, which equals 1 half base of 6, height of 3 root 3. Right, cancel the 2 and the 6 to get another 3, and we have 9 root 3. So what we're looking for in the area of the sector, we figure out sector was 6 pi. Let's do this in a different color, actually. Sector is 6 pi. The triangle is 9 root 3. So that is the area of the shade, 6 pi minus 9 root 3.